Hello, this is Darwin with Helia, and we're going to go through uh, connecting to a PFSense uh, box from NetGate. This is an SG2440. Uh, so the first thing we're going to do, uh, I've got some websites here uh, for you to go to. Uh, you can pause the video if you want to look at these closely. The first one we're going to look at is this one. This has the instructions for what we're going to do. We need to download a driver for a computer to connect with the USB port. And then there's a program called PuTTY that we use to actually connect uh, to PFSense with the uh, console port. All right, so this is the website. There's uh, drivers here that we need to download from uh, this particular website here. So we're going to download them. Uh, once they're downloaded, we can go into, well, we basically plug in the cable. Uh, and then we need to go to our computer management. You can find this under your start uh, menu. It's also in control panel under administration tools. And you'll find ports here, and we need to find out which port uh, the driver installed. So in this case, it's, it's COM3. So with that information, we can download and install the PuTTY program. The PuTTY's uh, homepage looks like this. Uh, and then, of course, under downloads, you find the appropriate download that you need. Once it's installed, uh, this is the main page for it. We need to put in COM3, which we got from our uh, device manager page. And then the speed is always 115200. So we're going to click OK. That's going to open up a PuTTY window, uh, just like this. If you hit the Enter key, uh, then, then your uh, box will respond. So we're going to hit it. There it is. It's got a menu. This one's a little bit different because I've actually done some other configuration to it. Uh, what we can do is go in and do a factory reset. So that's number four here. And uh, I'm going to pause the video uh, quickly while it does this. Okay, we're almost uh, finished rebooting for the first time here. All right, so in my particular case, uh, this SG2440 has four Ethernet ports on it. The first two uh, have been burnt out because of ESD, because of uh, lightning. Uh, and so they actually don't work anymore. What we're going to do is we're going to enable the, the option one and the option two ports. So we're going to go and uh, number one here, assign interfaces. So you can see the first two that are uh, uh, burnt are up, but the other two are down. So we want to set up VLANs. That's no uh, WAN connection. We're going to make the WAN connection IGB3. We're going to make the LAN connection IGB2, which is the third port. And then uh, OPT1 and OPT2, we're not going to assign them. Do we want to proceed? Yes. Okay, now what you'll see is the LAN port is uh, now IGB2, which is labeled on the device uh, OPT1, and then the WAN port, which is labeled OP2, uh, is actually the IGB3. So I don't have uh, this computer connected into the LAN port, but if I connect the laptop in, I've got DHCP running. It's going to issue me a IP address in that range. And then I can go on and configure this. I'll be doing another video for uh, configuring PFSense. Thanks for watching.